So we started making pet tags in November of 2020. No. After we got married, yeah. So it would oh, have been 2020. Yeah, yeah. Um, we were making pet tags for about a month, and then December 22nd, 2020, 2020 hits. I put out a video in the parking lot. I used to work at the DMV in Laramie, and I put out a video that was just a little, it was putting a jump ring in the loop of the tag, and over the next six days, it got 7 million views. We made $10,000 in sales and put in our two weeks the following Monday, yeah. which was like, Looking back at it, one of the scariest things we've ever done, even compared to everything we've done up until this point. We just had no idea Absolutely what anything no idea. would entail. So put in our two weeks, and when we when we were doing it full time, it was out of our basement, um, or out of, out of a basement apartment. Yeah, and so our first mistake was not putting a cap on orders. Yeah, we allowed people to put in custom orders, and mind you, we are fresh out of college, no idea what we're doing in life, not ready to be business owners, looking in hindsight. And we didn't put a cap on the orders because we were like, wow, all this money is so cool. Oh, and cha-chings from oh, Etsy and then Christmas Shopify. Day, we did over 150 orders. It just was, for two people with ADHD, it was too oh, addicting. The dopamine was, was hitting. <laughs> it was absolutely hitting. And we didn't put a cap on the orders, Obviously, we got so many, and by the time we started working on them in late January, now looking back on it, we were already way behind. Mm -hmm. And so, because we were behind, we started hiring people. Um, we ended up renting a space for a shop. Yeah, it was right across the street from our house. So that was, it was really cool. Pretty convenient. And we kind of tried to open up a little retail store, an online store, expanded into some wholesale products while still doing the tags. And the tags just got to the point where our four to six week shipping time was turning into two to three month shipping time. And and everybody was just getting burnt out from it. It wasn't exactly, just us. Exactly. It was like, and it was getting kind of old for everybody to come in. Yeah. And it was just, it was a grind every day. It wasn't like coming in to be creative and, and design stuff. And I mean, we were answering 50 to 100 emails a day. So the emails- And most of them were, where's my stuff? Yeah, Rightfully so the so. emails started piling up and we weren't communicating with people. and. Then we started getting bad reviews, and even until like two or three months ago, people were still mentioning in our comments the bad reviews and stuff. And we just got to a point where we're like, we can't do this anymore. We applied for a loan that um, we were going to use to pay our employees for the next foreseeable future. And, and that had to be a specific loan because we weren't in business for a full year. Exactly. We needed tax returns and stuff to get the traditional business mm -hmm. loans, but that ended up falling through. So... We had to let go of our entire team of eight and- That was really hard because- That was the hardest thing we've probably been through that, that year. Yeah, we hired a lot of people that we knew from other parts of our life. And so we got close to them, mm -hmm. obviously. We were spending five days a week with them, sometimes six, sometimes seven. Yep. And that really sucked to let those people down yeah and to disappoint that many people and especially people you were close with mm -hmm. and you know we it, had no idea what it would do to some of the relationships yeah. we yeah yeah it was really hard so um the next two or three months was a tough period because we were like you know do we keep trying with the business with just us two which is what we initially decided and we kind of got to a point at, at some point later in the year where Kenzie was packaging orders and she was taking a lick mat from Soda Pup out of the box that was shipped to us and putting it in a different box to ship to the customer. And she was just like, why do we exist in yeah. this capacity? Like we are a middleman who like we're paying for shipping and then charging our customers for shipping when they could just order straight from the supplier. Mm -hmm. Well, but, you, like you get those big deposits from orders yeah. and then it's exciting and you feel good, but then there's the cost, like you said, the cost of shipping exactly. and returns and the mail not being delivered correctly, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Just, and so we loved making the content about those products, but we just needed a different way to promote them without having, being the ones to actually ship them, which is yeah. how the BK Pets came to be born and how we transitioned into just being influencers.